Welcome back, movie lovers. Today, we're diving into the world of Elysium 2013, where a terminally ill man battles against all odds to reach the titular space station, a luxurious utopia for the wealthy, while the less fortunate are left struggling to survive on a desolate Earth. It's a journey that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting movie recaps. In the grim year 2154, Earth's a total mess. Overcrowded, dirty as hell, and diseases running wild. Once beautiful cities, now dumps. Society split in two. The haves and the have-nots, money gap. More like a Grand Canyon, the rich and mighty. They bailed, built their sweet crib. Elysium, a space pad in orbit. Elysium, straight-up utopia. No sickness, no sadness. Luxuries, you bet. But the crown jewel, med bays. These fancy healing pods fix any ailment or hurt. No sweat. Back down on Earth, it's a different story. Robocops, those metalheads, rule the show. They're all about zero tolerance, which translates to a good old-fashioned beatdown. Our story starts with Max da Costa, a kid with dreams. Him and his buddy Frey Santiago read about Elysium's glam life. Max tells Frey, One day I'll take you there. Life? It ain't so kind to Max. Grows up a crook. Frey and him lose touch. They're none like caretaker. Six feet under. But Max wants to scrub clean. Lands a gig at Armadine, where they churn out weapons for Elysium and those metalhead Robocops. One day, Max's wrist gets a Robocop makeover for talking back. He hits the hospital and surprise, Frey's there, all grown up as a nurse. They catch up, she fixes him up, but before Max can pop the question, she's off to save another patient. The hospital's jam-packed, but that's just how it is with too many people and too many diseases. Max, he's got a hustle at work, but they're pinching his paycheck for being late. Now this big-shot CEO, John Carlyle from Armadine, he's up in Elysium living the high life. Earth's just his factory floor. He couldn't care less about the working stiffs. No heart there. Then there's this dude Spider, a real criminal mastermind. He's got this slick operation going, sneaking folks into Elysium on the down low. Problem is, it's a dicey game. Not everyone who tries makes it, no sir. First, they gotta get themselves these fancy Elysium wristbands. Those get them through the gates. After that, they hop on these sketchy spaceships and aim for the stars. When those ships get too close for comfort, Elysium's top cop, Jessica Delacorte, she gets the memo. She's got her boy, Kruger, on Earth. He's a right-hand muscle and he follows orders real quick. He sends a missile at those ships. Two of them go down, taking 46 folks with them. Tough luck. But one ship, the lucky last, touches down. Before anyone can make a run for it, Jessica's goons snatch him up. Choppers and robots are hot on their tails. Most of the Earthers end up in cuffs or worse. Only a mom and her sick kid make it to the med bay. That wristband magic works, kids healed up good. But no happy ending here. The robot cops, they slap them with the bracelets, and just when you think they're free, bam, it's cuffs for them too. Some resist, they don't make it. Others, back to Earth they go. Back on Earth, Max is on the grind when boom, the door by his workstation gets stuck. The boss tells him to step into that mess, even though it's like a death wish. Max goes along with it, but the second he's inside, that door slams shut, and he's hit hard with some deadly radiation. Later, they yank him out and ship him to the med bay. Another bot lays it straight. Max's organs are about to go haywire, and he's got five days, Max, to live. CEO John strolls in, takes one look at Max on the bed, but he's more worried about the bedding than Max's health. Some bot slides Max some pills to ease the pain and keep him ticking till the end. Meanwhile, Jessica gets a call from Patel, Elysium's big shot. He ain't loving Jessica's methods, he ain't down with this whole reckless killing deal, but Jessica ain't backing down. She's all like, I won't let our future Elysium crib get raided by Earth folks. Patel, though, lays down the law. Stop causing trouble or get canned, and quit using Kruger. Back on Earth, Kruger gets the boot, told his services ain't needed no more. He's fuming, feeling like Jessica's played him. Max's buddy Julio spots him limping back from work and lends a hand. After Julio helps him pop his meds, Max spills the beans. He's itching to hit up Elysium Pronto and get patched up in their fancy med bay. Max and Julio roll up to Spider's joint, asking him to hook Max up with a ride to Elysium. Max throws in a favor he did for Spider three years back. Spider, though, ain't a charity case. He wants Max to hack into the noggin of some bigwig in Elysium, snatch passcodes and juicy secrets. Spider's eyeing that big bank account. If Max pulls it off, Spider says he'll slide him into Elysium and sort his treatment. Max ain't got no other play. He's in. Max needs info from a high-up guy, John, who's all about bedsheets. Spider knows Max ain't up for the job, so he hooks Max up with a powerful exoskeleton and a brain chip. Now Max is strong, like a cop robot. Next scene, CEO John meets Jessica, who's had it with the Prez. She wants John to mess with Elysium's computer core and make her Prez. John agrees, heads to Earth, and rigs his brain against data theft. 
He hops on a shuttle to Elysium, but Max and his crew shoot it down. They grab John for the info, but a droid shows up and they have a shootout. John gets hit, but they still get the data. Jessica's freaked out and sends Kruger to deal with the attackers. Kruger and his gang arrive and start shooting. Max's friends, even his buddy Julio, all get whacked, but Max escapes. Jessica's losing it because someone knows her secret plan to dump the Prez. She jams all signals so no ships can leave. Meanwhile, Kruger snags the data from John's brain, realizes it's Jessica's secret scheme, and wants more. Max, all beat up, goes to Frey for help. She takes him to her crib, patching up his injuries. He wakes the next day, finding a young kid staring at him. Turns out she's Frey's daughter, battling leukemia and running out of time. Frey begs Max to get her to Elysium, but he's got heat on his tail. Real dangerous types. He bounces, and soon enough, Kruger and his goons roll in, asking questions. They grab Frey and her kid once they figure Max got patched up here. Max swings by Spider's joint with some code he swiped from John's noggin. Spider can't come through, though, because Jessica's locked down the airspace. No way to Elysium, he says. But when Spider cracks open that code in Max's brain, he's blown away. It's some kind of master reset for Elysium. Could make everyone a citizen, with all the medbay goodness. Spider wants Max to chill. Says it might take five days to hack Elysium's system. Max? He's got hours, tops. He's thinking of selling the data to Jessica, trading it for a ticket to the med bay and a shot at life. Then it hits Max. Kruger wants him alive. So, when Kruger and his crew come knocking, Max turns himself in. On Kruger's ship, Max gets a surprise. Frey and her daughter kidnapped. Kruger lets Jessica know they found the code, she unlocks the airspace, and they all roll to Elysium, with Spider and his squad chasing Max. Inside Kruger's ride, things get ugly. Max loses it when Kruger disses Frey. A shootout pops off and Max tosses a grenade, blowing half of Kruger's mug off. The ship's controls are toast, and it slams right into a fancy crib in Elysium. Jessica wants everybody on board rounded up. Frey hauls her kid out of the trashed ship, then scours the nearest spot for a med bay. She finds one but can't use it for her kid since she's not a citizen. Guards bust them all and haul them to Jessica. Kruger's crew throws him in a med bay to fix his ugly mug. Meanwhile, Jessica throws Max on a brain suck machine that's bound to croak him. She's all in on it, because Max's life ain't worth squat to her. After Jessica pieces out, Kruger's goons take Frey and her kid back. Docs are about to brain drain Max and snuff him, but he busts loose just in time. At the same time, Jessica's yapping at Kruger for trashing his ride and putting Elysium's folks in the hot seat. While she's doing that, Kruger loses it and shanks her in the neck. Dude's got plans to reprogram the system and crown himself King of Elysium. His crew heads out to off all the suits in the joint while he goes to rewrite the code. Meanwhile, Spider and his crew touch down on Elysium to hunt down Max. They're inside, hunting his scent. Max, on the flip side, is searching for Frey when he spots Spider on a screen. He hits him up and says, Let's roll with the plan to make everybody an Elysium VIP so we can finally kick these diseases to the curb. Max swoops in to save Frey and links with Spider at the same time. He sends Frey to the closest medbay, tells her to chill while they make everyone an Elysium big shot to heal her kid. After that, Max and Spider try to reprogram the system, but Kruger snags them on the way. They brawl, but Max gets schooled real quick. Max's battle takes a wild turn when he yanks out Kruger's brain gizmo, totally wrecking his setup. After whooping him, Max and Spider head for the mainframe to snatch the code from Max's noggin. But there's a catch. The bigwig CEO, John, rigged it so that if anyone nabs the code, it's curtains. The only way to save the world is for Max to take one for the team. With time running out, Max hits up Frey to let her know he's a man of his word from way back when. He gazes at Earth, just like this locket his nun guardian gave him. He gets emotional, hits the button, and Elysium's system reboots, taking him down with it. Now the system gives everyone a green light. Frey's kid gets patched up in the med bay. Plus, they send lots of ships to Earth with healing gear to help folks get back on their feet. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Stay tuned for our next video.